वेलकम एवरी वन इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डू डिराइवेशन पार्शल डिराइवेशन इंटीग्रेशन एंड डिफिनेट इंटीग्रेशन इन मैट लैब सो सो टू डू दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिफाइन सिम्बॉलिक वेरिएबल वट इज़ अ सिम्बॉलिक वेरिएबल सिम्बॉलिक वेरिएबल इज अ स्ट्रिंग ऑफ करेक्टर्स दैट वी कैन डिफाइन एज अ सिम्बल बिकॉज द वेरिएबल इज सिम्बल वी कैन असाइन डिफरेंट वेल्यूज टू इट एट डिफरेंट टाइम by assigning different values we can do the same processing on it uh, with different data fine also a symbolic variable can hold an expression instead of just a numerical value so the so the, so they comes in handy when we are dealing with uh, derivation partial derivation integration and defi- definite integration so i will start my code by defining a bunch of symbolic variables to do that i will write sims followed by those variables F one, F two, F three, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and probably also H. Fine. After defining symbolic variables, I need to find an expression of which I can uh, find a derivative. I need to find. I need to have a, a function which I can find derivative. So I will define the function as F one is equal to, for example, three x cube plus seven. X square plus nine x minus seven. So this is my expression. I am going to calculate the derivative of this expression. So I will write first f print f the first derivative of the first derivative is fine, and then I will move to the next line by slash n fine. the first derivative is and then i will find derivative let us say i will name it as a which is also symbolic variable to find derivative we use a simple command which is di double f so di double f and i will find the derivative of f1 find f1 with respect to x find because we want to find derivative of this function with respect to x so this will give me the first derivative of the function when this give me the first derivative of the function i can also find the second derivative of the function So I will say the second order derivative is uh, derivative is again I want to move to the next line so I will find and then I will say that b is equal to differential of now a with respect to x fine so this will again whatever the first derivative is that will be again uh, derivative derivative of that will again be taken with respect to x so that will give me the second order derivative and i can also say uh, again for third order derivative i will say the third order derivative is let me move to the next line the third order derivative is now i will define it as c and i will say differentiate b with respect to x that will give me the third order derivative and finally the fourth order derivative which i believe will be the uh zero the fourth order derivative is again i want to move to the next line so the fourth order derivative is d is equal to to c of x okay i will run this and check it out whether i have performed the derivation right or not we are going to run this so it's running we will see in the matlab lab so the derivative will be taken of the of this function we haven't defined sims as x so sims will also be defined as x and we will quickly run it again we need to define x as symbolic variable also so this here we go the first order derivative is of this is 9x square plus 14x plus 9 the second order derivative is which which we have named as b is 18x plus 14 the third order derivative is 18 and the first order derivative is 0 fine so this is 